Welcome to our 400th episode of MacBreak Studio. Can you believe 400 episodes? I can't believe we've been doing this <laughs> 400 times. I'm Mark, this is Steve. And we're here at the beautiful Goldwater Lake in Northern Arizona. We wanted to get out of the studio, out of the green screen studio. Actually, this is a green green studio. An amazing green screen. Yeah, this, the background <laughs> is fantastic that we're putting here. But uh, we're here and we're excited about all the episodes we've done and we've got a, a great tip to show you today. I sure do. This is a really cool idea about media management that Steve showed me a little bit about, and I think you'll really enjoy this. Why don't you show us? So this tip is a simple media management tip. In this example, let's say you unintentionally imported all the media into the library, what Final Cut Pro 10 calls a managed library. Which, if you create a new library, it will be by default. Right. In fact, if I select the library here in, in, the, in this pane here, you'll notice that the media is set for in library, and you can also see down here that 10 and a half gigabytes is stored it, right inside, right the, inside library. the library. Okay. Right. In fact, let's just, just so I can just show you this, if I control click on this and reveal the library and the finder, and normally we don't recommend doing this, but you know, sometimes it's good to show. We go into the package contents and then go into the event and into original media. You can see these are the actual media files. The, yes, they're the real media files. Right. They're not sim links. Yeah. They're, that's your 10 and a half gigabytes yeah. sitting inside the library. And when you go in it like this, you can look, but don't touch. Don't touch, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and close this for a moment, come back to Final Cut. And normally you think, well, I want to push this media outside the library so it's external. And you think, well, normally you would select the library, and then you'd go over to Modify Settings up here, and then you would select an external location, right. and then you consolidate you it consolidate. out. Consolidate. Uh -huh. Don't need to do any of that, okay? Don't need to do any of it. What? Yeah, what? Check it out. So I'm going to select the library. I'm going to go File. I'm going to choose Relink Files. Okay. okay. Now, by default, the Relink Files window will show you, well, in this case, it normally shows you you're missing. Missing. Which right. There is nothing There's missing. missing. There's nothing missing, but you can choose all, uh -huh. and you're essentially saying, I want to see, I want to relink to all the online media. So I want, I want to relink to some other set of files. So they're all That's there. Right. They're all links, but I want to go somewhere else. Correct. Okay. So what I want to do is click Locate All. And I want to navigate to where those original files are. That you imported That I from. imported okay. from. And okay. here they are. It's a folder I created called St. Croix Clips. Okay. okay. And I'm just going to click Choose. And instantly, Final Cut recognizes the original files and the match files and puts them down below. Okay, so now Final Cut's pointing to those files that are outside the library, but you still have all the files inside the library. Inside the library. Now check it out. Watch. Relink files. Okay. What just happened? Check it out. I'm going to go back to the library so you can see this. Reveal in Finder. I'm going to go back into the library bundle. Show package contents. Go into the event. Go into the original media. And I want you to see this. All of those former files are now sim links. And they are all now pointing to the external folder I relinked to. So not only did it point to the external folder, it took all the media inside the library and made them sim links at That's the right. same time. So if I, if I choose show original, what, it took me to that, that, that external folder. folder. Wow. So now if you select a library in Final Cut Pro in the library inspector, at the bottom, the size shouldn't be 10 gigabytes anymore? It, it still should be 10 gigabytes because it's on the same hard drive. I see, but of it's, course, but of it's course. Now, but, but the it's, library itself is now very small. Very small now. It's a small library okay. because now it's just sim links. Got it. Wow. That's very cool. We should really get out of the studio more often. Uh, absolutely. Nothing like being out in nature and, you know, with a computer. <laughs> Although, you're very brave to take your brand new computer out here and do this, you know. Is that an eagle? <laughs> Steve, I'm so sorry. I ruined your computer. It wasn't my computer, it was yours. Join us next week for Editing Underwater. <laughs>